Hi, I'm Sylvia. <laughs> this time I decided to start this video without showing you my face. So for once, you will be very, very, very lucky. During the past days, I had some comments asking on how I connect my buildings, my table accent, and my sweet lamps, and everything else to the power source. How do I switch them all on? And you are absolutely right because I never shown I never shown you what is under the table, under the plywood uh, layout I use constantly for my Christmas villages. So it is time to go a little in depth with that. But I will not do anything of too technical. I will not go into physics laws or electricity laws or anything else. I will just introduce some basic terms that are needed to understand what I will be showing you. So everyone knows electricity. Electricity has two uh, very important components. The tension and the current. C U R R E N T. The tension has a unit that is called volt. V. The current has a unit called E. Intensity. And this is expressed with amperes. Amperes. Okay? With an A and a V. So volts and amperes. Two very important terms. The tension between two points maybe between the power source and the uh, bulb here, it, it, it expresses the voltage between two points, between the power source and the bulb. When you switch on the light, you make the connection be between those two points and the uh, light bulb will switch on. So, how many volts are indeed um, present between two points, between uh, point A of a cable and point B of the cable. So uh, a light bulb generally works in Europe at uh, 220 volts, 110 wo volts in uh, US and other countries. So you need at least 110 volts in US or 220 volts in uh, Europe. But you will also need something else, the amps. It means how intense, that's why I have intensity here, how intense it is um, the electricity going through a cable, okay? Through a cable. So it, it, it can be 1 amps, 2 amps, 3 amps, 4 amps, etc. Amps stands for amperes. So and generally we speak as amps, okay, as amps. So, uh, it's like you have a pipe with some water and uh, the pressure of the water is like the amps. So, when you open your uh, kitchen faucet, you have water. But if you regulate the faucet between um, um, less water or more water, it's like having more amps or uh, less amps uh, flowing through the cable, in this case f more or less water flowing through the pipe. Very, very quickly done, very, very um, <laughs> simple explanation. That's all, I will not go into details. So, for work, uh, a lamp, uh, a light bulb will need voltage and amperes. That's all. I hope it is a very, or at least a minimum, uh, clear. What 
you use in uh, buildings and in table accent and in the street labs. You use an L E D. So L E D. It stands for electroluminescent diode. Okay? Electroluminescent diode. It is an optotronic component. So optic electronic component. It means that when uh, some electricity flows through this component, it emits some light. That's why uh, electroluminescent, electrical luminescent diode. Optoelectronic component because optos in Greek it is uh, um, related to the to the view to the optical optical element. Okay. That's all. What is a LED? A LED may have different uh, forms, different dimensions, different aspects. Let's uh, talk about the easiest and simplest one of the LED. This is a 3 volt, 3 volt ampere, a 3 volt LED, sorry. It has a plus and a minus, obviously, as everything in the world of electricity, uh, of electronics. And, and in this case, you have a, a rounded shaped uh, uh, LED. And this is a 3 volt LED, as I just uh, said. It means that for uh, mm, work, uh, if you want uh, to make it work, you need to power it with a 3 volt power source. In this case, I have a standard uh, motherboard, a, um, computer motherboard uh, battery, 3 volts with plus and minus. And if I place it, the LED will switch on. So, I am right now going with 3 volts and a minimum of amps, the minimum standard. Uh, those LED need uh, an intensity, an amperage of 20 milliamps. So 20 milliamps. So, okay. So, uh, amps divided by 1000, 20 times an amps divided by 1000 milliamps. Uh, I hope this is a simple math, so no problem for you to understand that. Um, power uh, absorption. Uh, so, uh, in order to f um, work correctly, 3 volts and a minimum of 20 milliamps. This is one kind of LED. You can also have a different types. I will sh just show you some of them. This is a foggy LED. It means that uh, it emits less, less lights than the previous one. This is more bright, this is less bright. The foggy, uh, pure, simple, uh, bright LED. Then you also have some RGB uh, flashing uh, LED, like in this one. I just apply it. Please just look. I hope it is visible. You have started with uh, red, then it goes through yellow, then green, then blue, then it will uh, go to purple, I think, if I remember correctly. Yes, purple, then uh, once again yellow, and the cycle repeats itself. Then you also have another type, uh, flashing LED, that is uh, very fast, and this is very fast. Look at how fast it changes colors with some rhythm to it, but it can produce a very uh, beautiful uh, light uh, games if you want to do it. Okay, so it change uh, very slow, changing then quicker, then quicker, then quicker, and then the cycle repeat itself. So this is uh, a standard LED, round shaped LED inside. And I think you recognize those uh, light bulb here uh, as they are the standard for nowadays Lemax buildings. Inside they have four. Those are the lights, okay? Square red, 
rectangular uh, LED, yellow LED, that when you <coughs> power it, it uh, goes um, some um, very, uh, not very um, cold light, but some warm light. I generally prefer warm light for the buildings and cold light. I will not uh, make a, dif a different. Uh, dif I will not do the definition of cold and warm. But let's just say that uh, towards the yellow, it is a warm light. Towards the pure white, it is a cold light. So uh, this is how it is made inside this uh, this. Uh, 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 LED uh, bulb. I will uh, reassemble it uh, when I will uh, finish this uh, video. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still, uh, I, uh, I'm still very sick. No, not very sick. I still, still got my um, cold with me. So uh, let's go with some building. I have a couple of my buildings here. Here I have the French bakery as always. When you, and this is not standard guys, I've applied some snow on it because uh, the French bakery, Mary's French bakery has no uh, snow on top of uh, it. So <laughs> I like buildings with plenty of snow on top of the roof. So I just uh, used some modeling clay to uh, add it on top of the building. From the back here. From the back here, you will insert your standard LED light bulb, and then, and then inside each of the boxes, you will also find a battery AC adapter. A battery AC adapter. Inside it, you will place three AA batteries, double mm, double A batteries. Sorry, so. Each single one of the batteries are 1.5 volts, so 1.5 plus 1.5 equals 3 plus 1.5 equals 4.5 volts. And those LED light bulb works on 4.5 volts. So the classical uh, way to uh, power them on will be I will take the uh, battery adapter from the box. I will connect it through the uh, LED bulb and voila, the building uh, lights up itself. Okay, so this is the standard way, but but there is plenty of uh, but. If you uh, have your Christmas village uh, on display for one month, for two months. We, you will spend a fortune on batteries, okay? Because they won't last an entire season, entire Christmas season. So uh, you need to find another solution. And one quickly solution for you is this one. Is not to use a uh, battery powered adapter, but it is to use some uh, standard AC adapter. Uh, please uh, don't consider this a plug here, it is European plug, so maybe US, Australia and everywhere else you have different connectors, even in UK. So this is uh, the only one I have, because since from the beginning when I started using buildings and uh, different way to uh, light them up, I've never used this solution here. It is the classical one. Everyone will choose. Everyone will um, will find uh, normal to use. But I've switched it to another um, to another way. Uh, I will come to that in just some minutes. So normally uh, you will have to go like this way. Okay, those were the first uh, adapters in the, on the market, and then you will take the adapters and connect them to a power service like that switch it on and then go ahead and voila the building lights up one ac adapter one i, I don't know if you can see it but one ac adapter for one building 
or one battery adapter for one building. So each building one or one. If you have a Christmas meal that we just three, four, maybe five buildings or street lamps, okay, it is possible to manage them. But if you increase all along the years your collection and you will uh, exponentially uh, go up with all your buildings, you will understand that the space that will be taken by all the cables and all the adapters and all the multipliers there is enormous. A waste of space, a waste of electricity, a waste, uh, an abnormal um, cost. Okay, so is there another solution? Yes, there is another solution. So let me just switch off this. This one, I will go this way and I will go this way. Please, I, I just look at uh, the uh, voltage here. This is uh, 230 volt, uh, 50 hertz, let's say, hertz, no. But this is uh, uh, 12 volts, 300 milliamps. So this is not a 4.5 volt amp. This is a 4.5 4 volt adapter because those light bulbs there work it on 12 volts. Okay, this is ancient history. Um, nowadays they work on 4.5. All LED bulbs work on 4.5 volts. <coughs> Sorry. Another solution. Okay. Let me introduce one of my good friends here. AC adapter. Multi-voltage AC adapter. It means that it can go from, uh, I hope you can see it, from 3 volts up to 12 volts. Like this one had a maximum capacity of 12 volts. This one too has a maximum capacity of 12 volts. You need to regulate it uh, in function of what you need to power on. Buildings then 4.5 volts. Uh, Lamax street lamps 4.5 volts. My uh, street lamps or those uh, LED 3 volts. And you switch simply with a screwdriver or anything else. The regulator there 3 volts, 4.5 volts. Uh, 5 volts and etc. I will go back to 4.5 volts. Uh, the connector. Yes, this one is standard connector. Those one from the uh, battery uh, adapters. Those are 5.5 millimeters of outer diameters, 2.1 millimeters in inner diameter. So outer diameters and the hole is 2.1 millimeters. This one too, this one too, it is 5.5 and 2.1. If I connect it there and if I use this connector here, I will get back my standard new LED and I will go this way. Oops. Here you can see through the windows that the building switch on. <laughs> the yes, but you have just replaced a NAC adapter, a single AC adapter, no AC adapter, or a, 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 a standard battery adapter by this AC adapter here. <laughs> no use, no sense of doing that. You are perfectly right. But please, just take a look at one thing there. You have an output of 1000 milliamps. I don't know, but, but I assure you that this is 1000 milliamps. Let's come back. LED absorption, 
20 milliamps. Those are very little, so uh, you can uh, um, standard it with uh, these are uh, 20 milliamps of uh, intensity, uh, minimal intensity to work those two, even if you have four LED inside. So, 20 milliamps. This, sorry, I had to sneeze, uh, pardon me, please. Um, so, I was saying, uh, this is uh, 1000 milliamps. Okay, 1000 milliamps. This one is 20 milliamps. 5 buildings means 5 by 2, 10 plus 0, 100 milliamps. Can I multiply it by even more? 50, 50 by 20 equals 1000. So with this AC adapter here, you can go up to 50 buildings connected to it without losing uh, intensity of the light, without having uh, the LED bulb going uh, fader and fader. In theory, my general uh, use of it is I will connect between 8 and 10 buildings to one AC adapter without losing any intensity of the light. The LED will be stable, the same intensity uh, from, uh, mm, uh, with one LED or two LED. Let's take another one here from another building here. So two LED will have the same intensity. Up to 10. In theory, up to 50. Please go up to 10. How do you do that? You use an octopus cable. Uh, I call it octopus cable, but it is a uh, split cable. You have one input and eight output. Three, six, plus two, eight. So, if I use, uh, let me, no, let me go this way, okay, if I go there, I switch it on, and then on, it comes on the light, okay, so it has a minimum time of uh, discharging of the uh, adapter of the capacitor okay I have connected two of them let's go the same intensity the same power of light and if I go with eight of them it will be the same the same intensity so with one AC adapter I can light up eight buildings so I will not use all the space needed or all the, the cost needed by having eight AC adapter or eight battery adapters. This one is the coolest solution I've ever found and I used it since the second year I was involved with uh, Lemax and Christmas 10, 12 years ago, okay? Uh, those, uh, they come from um, closed circuit uh, videos. So they were used to have one, uh, one video recorder connected to eight cameras. So this was used in uh, uh, um, closed circuit uh, video surveillance. Okay, all the, um, all the times there nowadays with uh, uh, EP cameras, etc. No need to do, to do that. But this is uh, very uh, useful for me and for my uh, Christmas villagers. So, this is how I connect. And generally, under my plywood, I have um, four, five, seven of those uh, power source multiplier there. And I will go with this solution. Yes, but you are uh, just uh, correct. Uh, 
what you have here, you have a very short cable. Okay, how do I proceed? I certainly will not use just this length here or just the length here. So I generally do something. Voila. I generally proceed this way. You can see that I generally take the battery adapter um, that is uh, on in every uh, building, in every modern building. And I cut here. So this is practically from the plug here to here, the standard and original uh, cable. Then I add some more, I don't know, two meters of two-way electrical cable with plus and minus, with positive and negative. Then, on the opposite side, I add those standard plugs here. They come in male and female. Those two are 5.5 by 2.1 and those one are also the opposite with the central pin in there. I don't know if you can see, but inside you have the central pin and they fit perfectly like this or even I can go the other way. I can use the standard one connected to my fem female there, okay? Or uh, if uh, these uh, break, I can cut here and replace the original one by a male, and a male plug there, and it will fit inside uh, the fem female plug. Here I have, Mm, I will go up once again. I have plus and minus. I simply need to uh, verify what is plus and minus. In this way, I generally mark with uh, red uh, here some uh, plus uh, positive and then minus the negative uh, right there. Otherwise, I can go on this other way with uh, two color uh, ca um, cable, two color wire, where for me positive is red and negative is black. Uh, this is how I proceed there. So I cut the, the original uh, power cord and then I make a prolongation of the cord uh, in function of what I uh, need. Uh, maybe I will put uh, the French bakery uh, in plain middle of the layout. I will have one meter going to the board from the left, one meter of extension uh, to see if I want to go to the left. And then I also have the length for going from the border of my layout down <laughs> under the plywood uh, to reach the AC adapter. So under the table I have many of those, uh, generally between 7 and 8 of those uh, split uh, cables, split uh, wires, uh, octopus wire. Why octopus? Simply because they have uh, 8 output, okay? Not because <laughs> they are uh, literally an octopus. And then I connect uh, this one to the building, so I will go this way. To the building, the white one because it is 90 degrees shaped, okay, so it is more easily hideable. And then I will connect uh, the uh, female there uh, to one of the output of the uh, split cable there, and I switch on, and here it is lighted, and also the building is lighted. So I proceed this way. You need to work uh, a little bit, you need to do some uh, homework and adapt the original power cords to your needs. Then uh, you need to hide the, the cables, but I have uh, detailed the video from uh, last uh, year's season. So uh, I, you, you, you just need to to go there for episode on out. Why? But I will come to that even in 2021 series, so uh, I don't know if with next part uh, 
16 or the 17 or the 18, I will show you how to hide once again all the uh, power uh, cords or the power cable. Uh, so this is a clear example of what you can, uh, uh, yes, and obviously you can use them like this too, okay? Uh, you don't need, but having the and the split uh, the split cable here on top of the layout it will be very difficult to hide it that's why i use the prolongation wire prolongation cable it is more easily hideable uh, obviously white because uh, um, all the styrofoam is white so under the styrofoam it will be completely invisible okay same thing with the uh, with the uh, with the street lamps, okay. Let me just finish by introducing you the street lamp. I hope I've been uh, at least a minimum uh, detailed, a minimum uh, clear on what I generally do. Please uh, ask me more of this video if you want to know uh, something uh, more, okay. Uh, street lamps, maybe you recognize those ones, and I have just one of them because I bought it the first year, then I, 10, 12 years ago, then I completely forgot about it, okay? So let me go in this way, and this is it connected to the uh, battery uh, um, adapter, but please take a look that uh, this uh, power battery adapter here doesn't have a plug for in, for get going in with some AC adapter. Those ones from the old generation could be powered by three AA uh, batteries or with a plug, so you can also, and this is also 4.5 volts, so you can go directly with one of my plug there, and you can go this way. And please look how ridiculous it is the light from those LED inside those are very very little I think uh, two millimeters of diameters um, LED bulb so absolutely not enough for making enough light that's why generally I, you, you use plenty of them than some big giant um, uh, light spots maybe in plain middle of the square pointing from the floor towards your buildings but this is not natural you don't see them in real life in all the villages in all the cities around the world you need to um, uh, to make uh, a street lamp decent and i always um, refuse to use them if they are very well designed absolutely a Victorian era with uh, all these design here, but originally also they came like this one, very, very, very light. So if you place it, like, it, won't, it won't stand alone, it tends to go down. Or you have some stickers there and then you glue it to the layout. Or you use, uh, like I used the first year, some big heavy uh, washers glued uh, uh, under the uh, the light, the, the street lamp, the street light here, the street lamp with some hot glue, and then they will stand. But look how feeble is the light for street lamps, useless, absolutely useless, and they never change their design. Uh, I, I can't understand this why they continue uh, doing so. So, during the years, I modified my uh, street lamps. Uh, firstly, I uh, I went with this solution with obviously uh, a pair, um, red, positive and negative uh, cable there, wire there, then LED, this LED is nothing else than one of my LED, this was a, um, a, ca a cable connectors, a cable ending connectors, then a simply pipe, this is a pipe, uh, uh, a straw, uh, it is a straw, uh, not a pipe, sorry, a straw uh, for your beverage, etc. And these are the, the, the flexibility. Then I, uh, I used to paint them in plain black, and those were making a similar spotlight 
uh, directly like this at uh, I think 170 degrees towards the mm, uh, towards the uh, the floor there. Maybe it is still working. Uh, where is uh, the battery? I lost. Oh no, it is there. Uh, positive and negative. So positive and negative there. Uh, maybe I will switch off the, those one there and I will go positive and negative and the light was a rounded spot like there, not natural for me so I went differently 3 volts, ok? so I went differently with this design then I shortened a little bit last, uh, uh, last season, ok? but I went with this design and I went with uh, my uh, my plug there, my 5.5 by 2.1 plug, aluminium, <coughs> sorry, aluminium pipe, <coughs> then LED inside the plastic, uh, the plastic uh, useless uh, street lamps that you have seen me transforming in those uh, street lamps uh, during my automatic street lamps from uh, last uh, season. I have a complete uh, a detailed uh, tutorial on how to make them. I will not come to that. But if you take this one is 3 volt, not 3 volt, but it is uh, also this one, it is uh, um, switchable between 3 and 12 volt once again, but this is a uh, 2250 milliamps so it is much more powerful than this one it means that it can uh, support uh, even more um, even more uh, buildings and lights connected to it how it is possible just simply look uh, don't uh, just think that i can use just this one like this but i can also connect uh, another of these um, split cables here and I will go with uh, uh, 7 original plus 8 equals 15 buildings lighted. I generally do, don't do that but you can also do that, okay? You can go this way, so multiplying indefinitely until we, re we reach 50 buildings or in this case uh, with 3 volts, uh, uh, 100 um, street lamps. But let's forget for you for now. Let's power it with 3 volts this time. This is another way of doing it, of having it, but it can be connected. And then, oops, there. And this time, with this solution here, the light goes this way. 360 degrees with perfectly um, uh, flow, with fl perfectly um, light flow from every single one of the uh, angles there. This is another, the final solution I found at the end also. Yes, one adapter for each of this no i will i will certainly use this solution here but even better with just one output and using this solution here so here i have a very very long wire that has to one end the plug here the standard female plug and on the other end nothing at all they are free I have connected nothing they are not connected between them otherwise I will risk a short circuit but they are simply flowing in the wind okay and let me just I do this otherwise I will ruin everything and if you use uh, this solution here those are T connectors uh, and maybe I will uh, no. You just need to go to my uh, um, street, uh, my street lamp tutorial, and you will find every link to make the, those ones and also to uh, where to buy those T connectors. They mean it means that if you use this one with the, some very thin cables and you wires, sorry, and if you open this, okay. 
So here I have plus and minus. Generally, I will go with color. It is a plus. Let's hope uh, I will not do some mistake. And then I will go this way. I will simply clip it. And it is not uh, the final solution. So you will you can replace it whenever you want. Uh, maybe I use it positive and negative. Not the correct way. No, it is not uh, connected. So and here you go. Okay. So here you have the first one. Let's say you just need to have from the plug there those uh, 10 15 centimeters then you go ahead you find your next building towards the um, another 30 centimeters 25 30 centimeters you just take another of those t connectors and you can go once again this way i don't need to switch off anything because i just have three volts inside then Let's clip it once again, like I did before, and voila, it switch on. Um, no, it wasn't at uh, 15, 20, 25, I simply need to reopen it. I don't want to break it, but... Okay, I simply need, I simply need to move it a little forward maybe another 10 centimeters okay <coughs> and I simply need to reconnect once again positive and negative uh, where I need them to be okay uh, there there voila switch it on with ever more distance between the two street lamps and you can go this way with 20 milliamps of uh, current absorption up to 103 lamps with just one simple couple of uh, wires. I generally do between 5 and 10 because I don't want to have a unique uh, a cable, a unique wire going through all my uh, layout. Uh, so I made uh, uh, seven or eight of those long two wires uh, connector, two wires uh, cords, uh, call it whatever you want. And then I uh, connect the street lamps whenever I, wherever I want them to be or wherever I need them to be. Uh, no more than five, ten for two reasons. Okay. Uh, this is in theory that you can uh, connect 50 uh, buildings or 100, um, more than 100 because uh, this is uh, 2,250 uh, milliamps. So here I will go with uh, 450 buildings with this uh, um, 1,000 milliamps uh, AC adapter, or, so 50 buildings or 50 street lamps or a mix of them because I am not, uh, I don't need to connect uh, simply to one uh, AC adapter, just street lamps or just uh, um, uh, buildings, I can mix. So here I will go there and I will connect this one too. It will not switch on because I have a problem somewhere, maybe it is disconnect. Yes, here you can see that. I have the <laughs> this is made in real time. So I am not I don't prepare anything. So I, let me just simply reconnect the plus here, the, the the positive wire there, simply by connecting it there. Then re-screw the, the the little screw there, and this time if I connect it there and I switch on it has still some problems no it is a switch it on this is a very a very fade uh, light but if I deconnect it you can see that the LED inside it's not very powerful I haven't uh, 
um, used one of my LED side. This was already uh, pre-made like this, uh, and it was supposed to work with a uh, battery there, a three volt battery. But I've simply connected some wires to the positive and negative there. So you can mix buildings and uh, uh, table accent, but one condition, it must work on the same voltage. So this works on 3 volt. The street lamps work on 3 volt, so I can mix them. Buildings and other things, you can mix them. <coughs> In this case, you cannot mix buildings and street lamps because with the 3 volt, you can work with the street lamps, but 3 volts is not enough to light on those LED bulbs. So a minimum of... of uh, <laughs> Uh, of concentration, you need uh, to, to concentrate on what you are doing and it is not, uh, not uh, difficult at all. And so, um, no more space wasting, no more 200 uh, AC adapters uh, or anything else, no more uh, battery wasting, anything else. This is the most effective way to light your buildings and your street lamps and everything else without having to waste space without not wasting money on electricity bill okay uh, very very simple very for me now is standard doing that maybe for you it's not and you are right i've never shown you precisely what i have under the table because it will be a mess in some uh, weeks because I will have hundreds of hundreds of meters, so hundreds of yards of uh, uh, wires cable under the table, but I will not risk anything. Another way, uh, reason why I use uh, simply uh, 10 uh, street lamps or 10 buildings, 8 buildings, is to not uh, overpower and not making them too charged, uh, the AC adapter. So, uh, the, the more you reach the 2,250 milliamps with this one and 1,000 milliamps for this one, more it tends to work at the maximum capacity. So you will not preserve the life of your AC adapter, but you, you will shorten their life. So the minimum possible uh, for your needs and the, the minimum possible of, uh, um, of uh, use for them, okay? Uh, this way you will preserve them for those ones, I will have those ones since uh, 2002, I think, so... Uh, no, 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 sorry, not 2002, 2012, okay, so from, since 2012, okay, almost 10 years and... Um, uh, and th they still work, <laughs> and they still work nowadays. So maybe some each season I will add uh, one more uh, 4.5 and one more 3 volt because I, <laughs> each time I uh, add something I will need some more thing. But let's say generally uh, I implement one of each each uh, two season. Okay. Um, this is uh, not the same thing for, uh, for example, for the windmill, I will use his power adapter because the windmill and the fountain can come with their proper adapter. So it is better to use uh, them as uh, they have particularly the pump from the fountain or the uh, rotating motor or from the windmill. So when a building com comes with its original uh, adapter, please use them because they are uh, they are designed, they are um, uh, um, <laughs> made this way to preserve the, the life of the building. But the standard buildings, you can go with this crazy for you, maybe not for me, uh, with this solution here. I know this is a mess, but I think I made the, the tour there. And uh, uh, maybe I'm not being too, too clear, but I will end this uh, video here. So you will see my face right now. So see you with my next video. Bye.